Hey guys, the state of video editing on Arch Linux 2016. I want to just run through where I think Linux is doing all right and where it's not. So um, let's get started by saying that I have chatted about my um, how I how I record these screencasts with OBS, and yeah, I think OBS is probably the best way to to do um, to to well to live cast more so and um, and also pretty pretty much like mux in different things like I'm doing here hello so OBS is a massive plus point massive win for Arch Linux it works really really well Pavu control all that muxing works great so screencasting and uh, and live casting tick for Arch Linux uh, what's the next thing um, Another awesome thing is that when I plug in my iPhone, when I plug this guy into my Arch Linux machine, I am able to mount it. I'm able to copy all my files and put them neatly into different uh, directories by by day. And that uses a thing called um, uh, iFuse. It works brilliantly. So getting your, your data off uh, your iPhone on Arch Linux Big tick, it works so well. Uh, next thing, um, oh, the next thing, um, when it comes to tooling, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've tried a lot of video editors on, on Arch Linux and they all absolutely suck in some way or another. Uh, they're all just broken, totally broken. Like you just can't do the simplest things like concatenate um, an MP4 file. The good news is that FFmpeg is really good and um, this is a little thing that I wrote. I think you can find it on their wiki page to just concatenate two MP4. So I do two different recordings. If I trim it down, this gives me the ability to join them. That works. So uh, another tick. Um, but there's nothing really visual. And the, the one thing that, that looked really, really promising is um, Audacity. So for example, uh, if I... If I launch this Audacity on this MP4 file, you can actually get a good idea of the waveform. And the waveform with this thing actually is very, very bad. Um, let's see if I can show you the alternative recording. Well, the the other recording I made, uh, whatever. This recording of my voice um, at the same time as this one was really rather good. And it would be awesome if Audacity allowed me to somehow uh, sync or copy the good WAV over to this MP4 and save the audio, the good audio to the MP4 track. But unfortunately, it can't. And that is so frustrating because the, the principal thing, the number one thing I found with videos is the audio needs to be awesome. And then it's watchable. And... Nine times out of ten, I just need to do a little audio tweak, like because I'm recording from a camera which has a sucky microphone input, and I want to record, um, I, I want to mux in the the audio I capture with my lavalier or some other microphone into the video. And if I could do this from Linux, it's so close I can see everything. It's so close I can see I can see what I need to do and everything. But if I make a change and I try to save it, it just does not work. <sighs> so um, I'm going to file a bug on Audacity about this. And then otherwise, yeah, video editing on, on Arch is a nightmare. And this is why I have to use Final Cut Pro 10, as you can see over here on my wife's MacBook. And uh, yeah, I really wish there was an editor on, uh, on Arch. I, I wish. I really wish. Premiere Pro, please, why don't you just... Port it to Linux. How hard can it be? Uh, I mean, if someone if someone could tell me how to boot into Windows and run Premiere Pro from my Arch machine, I would be so grateful. I'd be so super duper grateful. But there is no decent what do you call it visual editor yet on on Arch, and so I'm left with a half ass system in some ways. But let me recap. Let me recap. Linux is great. The file system, ext4, oh my god, how much better is that than the Windows NTFS or something? 
The um, getting stuff off the iPhone is awesome. FMPEG's awesome. Audacity is awesome. But the visual editor, sorely missing. Any tips to, for, for editing video on, on Arch, uh, please let me know. Oh, also, G, uh, uh, open broadcaster system software. It's amazing. And that's how I made this video. See you guys.